Luna Classic did a massive move, and if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Swingy Charts here. Welcome back to another Luna Classic analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As you guys can see on Luna Classic, we had a very explosive move retesting a major resistance point. Yesterday's video, I mentioned the fact that volume is starting to die, so we could look for an explosive move. As long as we trade above these exponential moving averages, you can see Luna Classic had a beautiful wick to the upside, followed by a very strong bullish engulfing candle. Now, this isn't that manipulation wick that we were looking for. Because this is what the wick that ideally what we see is a small body with a long wick. This candlestick currently what we're seeing right now is a strong body bullish engulfing candle. This shows the fact that the bulls are definitely in control as of these levels. But of course, we'd have to get above this 18 mark in order for that continuation. I wouldn't say we are necessarily in a long term or even a medium term bull market just yet for Luna Classic. Because the fact that we would have to get above this 22 resistance for that continuation in order for us to change our bias. The reason why this 22 level, of course, is very, very important is from looking at previous price analysis, I mentioned the fact that this level acted as a very strong support overall in Luna Classic. You can see that we had multiple tests on this 22 level and then the continuation to the downside. Ideally, that's what we're looking for from the bullish case scenario. We would be looking for a retest around that 22 mark and then the continuation or a strong break above in order for us to change our analysis. Looking at the hourly time frames, you can see we are above the exponential moving average but we are starting to retest them multiple times. Of course, we were overbought on the hourly as well as the four hours. So I was expecting a nice pullback, but I was going to tell you guys that, of course, if we do see a pullback, we cannot break lower than this 15 level. Anything lower than this, this would be a confirmed uh, fake out move and then the continuation to the downside. So keep a very close eye on that. In terms of the daily time frames, this is exactly what we were waiting for, right? I mentioned in yesterday's video, we are above the exponential moving averages on the daily daily after a very long time you can see that this acted as a very strong resistance point from all the way up here around that 27 mark and that continuation to the downside but now on the daily we actually just broke above so this is where things become obviously very interesting we were consolidating at a very crucial support level in terms of the rsi as well we had some nice consolidation zone we failed to break above those exponential moving averages but we were just not seeing that bearish volume come in i was hoping for the fact that we do retest that 14 mark and I mentioned that to you guys many, many times that the 14 mark still has to be yet to be tested more than once. But you can see that right now, the exponential moving averages are lining up to look for an explosive move. This is why I'm leaning towards us retesting that 22 mark as long as we can try to hold above this 18 mark for that continuation. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.